So in the inflow mechanism, the most important feature is called the productivity index. So on the drawing that we got here below, we can see a reservoir with a well bore over there. So on that drawing, we got H, which is a reservoir thickness. We've got capital R, which is a well drainage radius. We've got RW, which is the well bore radius. Then we've, we've got PR, which is the reservoir pressure. PBH, which is the um, bottom hole flowing pressure inside the well. And we've got the formula that is written there, uh, which is QBH, so bottom hole flow rate, which is equal to Q times B, so which is stock tank flow rate times the formation volume factor. Then we've got the two following formulas that are written there. Uh, first one is that the stock tank flow rate is equal to the productivity index times reservoir pressure minus bottom hole flowing pressure. Stock tank flow rate is equal to productivity index uh, multiplied by uh, the pressure difference between the reservoir pressure and the well bore bottom hole flowing pressure. Then we've got the second formula that is here below, which says that the stock tank flow rate is equal to 2 times pi times reservoir thickness times k, which is effective permeability. All that is divided by the formation volume factor multiplied by the viscosity multiplied by this factor over there, which is composed of Neperian logarithm of uh, well drainage radius divided by well bore radius plus S, which is the skin. We multiply all that factor by again the, the pressure difference between the reservoir pressure and the well bottom hole flowing pressure. So obviously from those two formula we can we can deduce that the productivity index is equal to uh, to what we can see here, which is basically the productivity index is equal to two times pi times reservoir thickness times effective permeability divided by formation volume factor times viscosity times logarithmic of well drainage radius divided by well bore radius plus the skin. So this formula is valid in monophasic. So basically, if you want to have um, the oil rate, okay, you just need to add an O there, uh, an O over there. So get your formation volume factor, your oil viscosity. Those factors are the same, whatever the, the phase we are considering. And you're going to need to have the oil effective permeability. You can do the same by replacing all those by W for water. What I suggest you to do now is to write that productivity index formula on a piece of paper. So take the time to do that right now because all the following slides will aim at explaining all those factors one by one and see which impact they've got on productivity index and how they can change your, your well production. So take the time to write that and then let's go to the next uh, to the next slides.